Colin. What did you think when I walked down the steps? I thought I thought he was coming back next um, week. So was this a good surprise? Yeah. You yes. wanted it to happen on uh, parents' luncheon. I didn't know it was so. Oh yeah, that's true. I missed you. I missed you too, Dad.
Oh my god, you look so great! <laughs> tonight it took a lot of planning and a trip halfway across the world but the hardest part was keeping this mother's day surprise a secret how one serviceman pulled it off and boy was mom surprised the tears started falling just after mom dina entz hit the field at halftime of this houston dynamo soccer game she thought this video from her son andrew an airman based overseas was her mother's day gift but the real gift was running up behind her Staff Sergeant Andrew In. I had no idea. This has got to be the best Mother's Day present ever. It was priceless. It was like a moment I'll never forget. Uh, just seeing her, uh, her face and uh, the look and the expression on her face and how, how excited she was. Andrew is based in South Korea and hasn't been home in eight months. So being here today for Mother's Day and for church with his parents and sister is special. We weren't expecting him to come home until uh, December. Across the country, service members surprising their moms. Staff Sergeant James has just returned from Afghanistan to be Staff Sergeant Marquita James surprised her mother, a single mom of two, who was about to receive a master's degree from Brunel University in Georgia. Back in Houston, the Enses are making the most of Andrew's surprise visit. Brunch with extended family, particularly sweet since Andrew has rarely made it home in the past five years. Andrew and his mom get three weeks together this time, a visit the two will now never forget. It's been hard, but you know, I know that Andrew is in a good place. I miss him tremendously, but I know he's happy doing what he's doing, serving our country and protecting our freedom. And from everyone here at ABC News, a big hug to all the moms out there. GMA first thing in the morning, and David Muir is right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night. Yeah.
Need your book bag? surprise my mom. Uh, it's been two years since I saw her last. For the past two years, I've been stationed overseas in Iwakuni, Japan. Your mom has no idea? Oh, she has none. We've had people watching her for the past couple of days to make sure, you know, see if there's any, any attitude changes. Maybe she has a little inkling, but nothing. Then as soon as you get in the office, make sure she's in there. Right. The logistics was, was quite astonishing. Like, we talked to her manager, and she thinks that she has a meeting to go to at 1.45. You know, I, I really haven't had any decent Christmases that didn't involve my mom. You know, she is, she, like, she is the reason why we love to celebrate this time of year. You know, she brings the family together, and uh, I love her. I really do. You know, she, like she supported me in everything that I've done. Oh, I know she's going to be crying, and there's, there's, she's going to scream. It's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be unforgettable. What the hell? <gasps> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh, hi. How are you? Hi, thank you, Rick. Can we make it home for Christmas? Oh. You guys are good. You guys are good. You always come when I'm down. You always know when to show up. I love you too. You came home for 